Your Excellency, the Ambassador. Yes, hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Okay, so first of all, I'm very much uh, appreciated for your accepting my proposal for online meeting. Okay, so topic of our today's discussion is about COVID situation in Mongolia. And especially, mm -hmm. I would like to draw your attention to a high risk group of workers who are working at the front line of the quarantine situation. The last week, Mongolian Prime Minister set up a working group chaired by Minister of Finance to work COVID-19 vaccine supply. At the same time, the Mongolian Parliament established another working group involving chairs of all the standing committees to provide support to supply COVID vaccines. As a chairman of a parliamentary standing committee of state structure, it is my duty to take all the responsible action to assist and support the public and the state workers. I'm talking about the medical workers and police officers, workers of National Emergency Commission, as well as state inspection agency. According to rough estimation, there are about 20,000 people who are active on duty duration of this quarantine in Ulaanbaatar and as well as in 21 provinces of the country. Therefore, I would like to have a discussion with you on the possibility to get vaccines only for those 20,000 high risk, our essential workers as soon as possible, as soon as vaccine will be available. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. It's a pleasure to meet with you today, and I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to talk with you. I am glad that we're able to set up the meeting in this format using the MS Teams, because of course, during this time, uh, it is very important for our embassy as well to respect the measures in place right now here in Mongolia and in Ulaanbaatar city as much as possible. And so for that reason, as you can see, today I am teleworking from my home, uh, as is my colleague Mungsul, who is also on this call together with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. However, of course, that does not stop us from having our discussions and continuing our work to the best extent that we can and that we must do during this very important time. Uh, last week already, uh, I was discussing this question with Mr. Gansuk the Director General of the Department of the Americas in the Foreign Ministry here. Mm -hmm. And the Embassy of Mongolia to Canada has also sent a note verbal to our Foreign Ministry in Ottawa to inquire as well about uh, collaboration in the distribution of a COVID vaccine. As a result of that, uh, consultations are going on right now in our foreign ministry uh, to get some answers to these questions uh, for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, have, I have raised these questions again uh, with our foreign ministry. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have further particulars on that uh, today. Uh, but I hope I will have more information very soon. Um, Canada is talking with the other colleagues in the framework of, of the COVAX mm -hmm. uh, framework that has been set up in, in Geneva. Um, I do not know yet uh, what the opportunities will be for bilateral talks in, in that regard. Um, I will ask 
our colleagues in Canada to also provide information about manufacturing of vaccines in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can tell you that, uh, that that is something that I have seen addressed in, in the news today, looking at Canadian news sources. Um, and I, I believe that our government is, is looking at that, but I do not have particular information right now mm -hmm. uh, about the manufacturing capabilities in, in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have also taken a note of your third point, which uh, you were asking about any NGO support for low income countries as well. And that is a question that I will also convey to our foreign ministry in Canada. Okay, thank you very much. And good luck. Thank you very, very much for the meeting today. Thank you. Okay.